Hello, this is Ogma 001 and we're here to play some Secret World. So this is going to be my first impressions of what I've thought of the game so far. I've come a considerable way through it. As you can tell, I am a character rank, faction rank 4, I am an elect. So I've come quite a way through the game, and I thought because it'll be a long while since I give my full uh, review of the game, because I do intend to review this, but I'm, I'm not really far enough for you, and that could be for a long while, and a lot of people might want to know nearer to launch, what I think of it so far. So this is going to be a first impressions, uh, well it's not really a first impressions, it's what I think so far of the game, but I'm going to go ahead and call it a first impressions. So let's kick off with what I really enjoy about the game. First of all, one of the things I enjoy is it's got a very interesting skill system, not the combat, the skill system. So you um, can put points into various different attributes here, these are basically your armour, because the clothes you wear um, are just for appearance, your talismans, uh, you can equip a determined by your talisman level here, so I've got them all at 3. My pistol level is at 6, and that means I'll do more damage with pistols. But you can get every single ability in the game here. You can get every single one eventually, there is no need to re-roll a second character. Ignore the zombies running past. Which is uh, actually very interesting. So at the moment I'm trying to build a deck. A deck will unlock a special outfit, uh, and it requires two weapons. So as you can see, it requires pistols and hammers, and it involves weakening your targets. Weakened is a status you can apply. There are four different statuses, I believe. Weakened, impaired, and two others. But this guy weakens an enemy and then uses abilities to exploit weakness with his hammer and pistols. And as you can see, he's here at the moment. moment. Other things I like are how there's a lot of character customization with clothes. You can just see here, we, we all look vastly different. Uh, but this is, I have two main sets of clothes at the moment. There's this. And there's my multi-slot, and I also have my sort of casual looking running around town. But I, I'm, I'm going to be in my um, cool Templar gear. So why am I a Templar? Because Templars are British and are therefore awesome. I mean, the main Templar woman, there's some uh, voice acting is a mixed bag. And uh, I know some people don't like the main Templar, but the main Templar is this... Um, woman who is basically, I don't know, she's just hilarious. She's really old and she talks about her old missions and she's just generally funny, but uh, that's another thing I really enjoy about the game is the setting. But as you can see here, one of the things I don't like too much is while the uh, combat is a lot more kinetic than most, it still is a bit archaic and it feels a bit old and has a lot of the um, old MMO stigma. Um, it's not as new and interesting as, say, Guild Wars. So that's one of the things I'm less fond of. Uh, another thing I do like though, however, are the dungeons. They are interesting. I've only played one, and it has, like, you, you think it's going to end and then shit goes down and you fight Cthulhu in it. Well, you don't fight Cthulhu, but he's pretty much Cthulhu. But that's interesting. As you can see, I almost died from a pack of randoms because I wasn't paying attention and using my builds correctly. But this guy is better at focusing on a single target rather than hordes. Uh, another thing I really enjoy about the game is the atmosphere. It does horror and darkness very well, which hasn't really been explored that much in MMOs. For example, we're entering the Black House here, and um, if you try to go on the front door, this always makes me hilarious. You, it doesn't want you to go inside. See? You have to use the back door, and it's kind of hilarious like that. And uh, there are various things like that. But what this game does best, I know I'm, I'm giving it a lot of praise and licking its asshole, but I do have some serious problems with the game, namely the combat system, which I will get onto. But one of the best parts, and I mean this is beautiful, is use of alternate reality gaming. For example, there's a moment where I had to find a password, and I was literally given uh, a clue, two clues. One was something to do with summer, and the other was a year. Looking at the two, I found out there was a very famous music piece related to that season. I uh, entered the compo name of the composer, and that was the password, and that uses the in-game browser, which you can see here, and you can search and find things out, and that is the best part of the game, that is where the game shines for me, and it, it deserves a lot of praise for what it's done, because there are some generally, genuinely hard puzzles, and you can also just find missions running around like this. See, this isn't given from a person, this is given from an object, which is also very interesting. Because you're uh, acting here on your own agenda, you're not working... Well, you're working for the Templars, but there aren't Templars handing you out missions. You're told to go in here and use your initiative. So there are things like this, and now I've got another quest to kill some stuff. So there, there are um, lots of different quests, but you also get the um, kill X of Y, and that seems to be an inescapable trope of Momorpagas, but... 
it only has few and it has less. Another thing, but the atmosphere in this game, I mean, the transition from what you saw, I was in a dark town and now I'm here, there's also Egypt, which is all bright and sunny, there's Transylvania, where you're running across rooftops, it, it has a lot of variety in lo locale. And, uh, although it is very theme parky and they are all sectioned off, which I don't like as much, because I like feeling an open world, but there are a lot of different areas. So as you can see, we are climbed up here and we're now in a treehouse, which is owned by the League of Monster Hunters, which you can find out about, and there are secret codes and things you can do with them, and quest chains, and all sorts of wonderful fun to be had. So let's, let's just hop back down, no full damage, sweet. And that's all I wanted to show you, uh, here I think. So yes, but my, other, my main problem and issue with the game is the combat can feel a bit dull, while uh, creating your build, which is seven actives and seven passives. These are abilities you cast, these just happen. Creating that build is very fun and interesting, but using it is not. Although it does do some things differently. For example, uh, I build up resources on the target, and you can dodge out of the way of moves like that, and you probably should, or they will fuck you up, like a rental car. And then um, I can manipulate that. So as you can see, I'm building up weakness on him, and then my ability bound to the four key will uh, do a bonus damage to him. I also have slower casts like the Big 45, which has one of my favorite gun animations ever. I just love the way he slowly pulls his guns over his head and goes, boom, for big damage, big money. But yes, I can also cast a little drone. Um, there we go, a little drone to hover, hover by the side of my head. And he, he'll, he'll shoot lasers at him, and there are various other things. But there are, are no set classes, as I said. You can get every single ability in the game if you're patient and replay it long enough. So you don't really need to re-roll another character, unless you want to play with your friends or play for a different faction. Because uh, you're loyal to your faction. Uh, so the factions are the Templars, who are these chaps, and um, they're basically... I, I'm not sure. It's a bit ambiguous with their connection to Christianity, because I know in reality they have a big tie, but it's a bit ambiguous about it. I don't, I don't know, but I, I just like them because they are they're the most good in my mind, because the dragon are all about organized chaos, and the Illuminati are all about selling sex, drugs, and power. So these guys, I don't know, they seem the most legit, because their main goal is to drive back the forces of evil, and while they are very secretive and asshole-ish, maybe it's necessary, which the game does a lot of it. It doesn't always paint your faction as good. For example, the guy who gives you mission is like, you can't help everyone. As much as you would like to, you need to work for the greater good. You're an agent of man, and you need to work on behalf of everyone, not the few. And uh, it's got the whole, the needs of the many outweigh, uh, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, and all of that bullshit. But yes, uh, so we're on a quest here, running towards a marker, which it puts down like that. This is the map, which is hand-drawn, and I, I'm, I'm a big fan of hand-drawn maps. It's it's surprising how much little things like that do. And the, the uh, and graphics are nice, textures have high quality sometimes, uh, but the aesthetic is what I like. I mean, there's musty atmosphere, the, you can see the thickness in the air, and there's a guy here who uh, I need to kill. But anyway, this has been my first impressions of the game. Would I recommend it? I would. It is a bit pricey, because it, of course it's not free to play, which maybe it should be, but... I still got it because I really enjoyed it and found it intriguing, although the dialogue can get a bit hammy at times, because there's a lot of voice acting, and it's very, very hit and miss. There are some really poor voice actors in there who just uh, are hamming it up left, right, and center, but I can't really complain. Well, I can. That's what I'm here to do. So, if you uh, want to check out the game, I'll put a link to their website in the description. It's made by FunCon. Uh, I like Funcom, they made uh, Age of Conan, and there wasn't a lot of content for that on release, sadly enough, although I did enjoy my time there, especially in the first area, because they put a lot of work into that. It's just a shame they didn't put a lot of work into the rest of the game with Age of Conan. But anyway, this has been Ogma 001, this has been uh, probably a more intellectual, talky type episode, I know, right? No swearing and talking about ho-hos. Oh shit, never mind, this has been Ogma 001, I'm gonna go fuck up that beast.